And my personal position is, if I really want to learn something, I'm going to try and make sure that it adds value to the company. Yeah. And then the company will buy into that, yeah. and I'll get to go and pursue all of this yeah. within the framework of my job. Yeah. Hi guys, um, I'm Nick. I'm a senior data scientist here at WorkSpot. Uh, my background's in uh, statistics and machine learning, and um, I spend a lot of my day working on recommendation engines. Um, so we talked about beginners, about how they can pursue machine learning. I also know a lot of people who are already like uh, experienced in some other field, they already have a job, but because they see so much potential in machine learning, they want to become machine learning engineers. Do you think that's an easy thing to do? And uh, do you think, uh, and if it is, or if it is not, I mean, what course of action would you recommend those who, who are already like, let's say, software developers, or yep. let's say in the field of marketing? Or uh, I know some. Uh, I know a guy who who is uh, in the uh, department of chemistry. Like he is a chemist, and he wants to go into the field of machine learning. I asked him why. He he just said I'm curious. Yeah. So what would you recommend those people? Yeah. So okay, I have a specific advice for people from a certain field. Yeah. But I think the general advice is start learning on your own. Yeah. Um, you know, in parallel to your normal work, and see if machine learning and data science interests you. Um, if it doesn't interest you, then you don't. You shouldn't really pursue it, yeah. because it, it takes, yeah, it takes a hell of a lot of time yeah. and a fair bit of uh, passion to sort of drive you through. Yeah. Um, but for for, uh, for people like software engineers, I would say there there's a, a definite part that I would recommend, okay. and that is you're a software engineer at the moment, and maybe you want to become a data scientist or you want to move along that spectrum. Yeah. There's a position in the middle called machine learning engineer. Yeah. And typically at large companies, they have this division of labor where a data scientist um, builds and uh, inspects the model uh, uh, offline. And then the okay. machine learning engineer takes that code, takes um, all that conceptual knowledge, yeah. and tries to make it available to the wider world through APIs okay. or all that sort of stuff. And that machine learning engineer really needs to understand um, software engineering practices, mm -hmm. best practices, cloud infrastructure, security, networking, yeah. all of that stuff. But to go from a software developer to a data scientist, you need to understand a little bit more about machine learning. Yeah. What does it mean to train a model? What does it mean to have the model predict? What sort of devices or instance instances do you need to have a model predict for computer vision yeah. or something simple like linear yeah. regression? Understanding all of these things um, is kind of what a machine learning engineer needs to do. So um, from that, uh, and of course, machine learning engineer is a, is a new job category. Mm -hmm. So there's a, a huge scarcity with regards to yeah. people who can do the job. There are ample opportunities for people to pursue their passion. Yeah. Yeah. Also, maybe it's interesting for like uh, for people who are in completely di different sectors. Like someone is in marketing, someone is in chemistry, or someone any other uh, abstract field. Maybe see how machine learning can help in their field. Definitely. Like find a use case in their own field and try to implement something that they learn on the side and that really helps their work there. Yep. Show your manager that uh, something addition like uh, machine learning or whatever is really helpful for you and then you can pursue it as a job maybe, I don't know. Yeah, see how if you can add value at your company yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah, through that uh, my personal position is if I really want to learn something I'm going to try and make sure that it adds value to the company yeah and then the company will buy into that yeah. and i'll get to go and pursue all of this yeah. within the framework of my job 